a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in Exploring ETFs. Hi everyone, welcome to Exploring ETFs. I'm Nina Mishra and today we are talking about high dividend, low volatility ETFs. So stock market has been extremely volatile uh, this year and stocks have been under pressure lately because investors are concerned about rising inflation, rising rates, uh, the implications of the war. And uh, many investors are seeking refuge in dividend payers. So uh, normally bonds, government bonds also are seen as safe, in, safe haven assets. But this year when the rates are rising, bonds fail to provide any protections. Uh, in fact, bonds are selling off uh, this year. They have been under a lot of pressure because rates rise, bond prices go down. And growthy areas of the market they also are very interest, uh, interest in, uh, sensitive. So that is why those uh, speculative high growth stocks have also been under a lot of pressure lately. Defensive areas of the market, boring areas of the market do better. Dividend payers are mainly from these areas and uh, those stocks do much better in such environment and they have been doing quite well. And within those dividend payers, if we also look for the ones that can perform in high volatility environment, so that uh, be, uh, those st stocks and ETFs uh, are likely to uh, outperform in the, the broader indexes in these kind of market environments. So, and they have been doing that. They have been doing much better than the broader indexes. So let's take a look at three high dividend, low volatility ETFs. So the first one I'm highlighting is by Invesco. It is S&P 500 high dividend, low volatility ETF. Ticker symbol is SPHD. It looks for high dividend paying and least volatile stocks from the S&P 500 index and selects 50 such stocks, quite popular with 3.7 billion in assets, has an expense ratio of 30 basis points. Let's go to the quote page on zax.com to learn more about the CTF. So you can read our research report articles and using the link, you can go to the Invesco webpage, has a dividend yield of nice dividend yield of 3.3%. So this is uh, Invesco webpage, uh, which again, it says that it holds 50 securities, high dividend yields and low volatility. You can also look at the portfolio. So the boring areas of the market that have been doing well this year, utilities, consumer staples, these uh, get a lot of exposure in the portfolio, energy, healthcare too. <clears throat> and looking at the top holdings, you will see very unlike from your, uh, you know, broad market indexes, Williams Company, Altria, Kinder Morgan, Chevron, these are the top holdings in the ETF. The second one is by Leg Mason. Leg Mason Low Volatility High Dividend ETF, ticker symbol is LVHD. Uh, so this also holds companies which have a high yield and it looks for low price and earnings. Volatility has 746 million in assets, 27 basis points is the expense ratio. It holds 50 to 100 stocks. Uh, so again, go to the code page on zax.com. We have a research report on this one and articles 2.6% is the dividend yield. Um, and again, you can use the link to go to Leg Mason web page for this ETF. And uh, so the index starts with 3000 large cap stocks. And then it looks for companies which have the potential to pay high sustainable so it also looks for sustainability of those dividends companies that have good balance sheets and can continue to pay those dividends and then it screens for price and earnings volatility and that's how it arrives at its portfolio and if you look at the portfolio again it has a lot of uh, exposure to defensive areas of the market utilities consumer staples uh, 
healthcare, etc. Looking at the top holdings, Lockheed, Martin, Coca-Cola, Johnson and Johnson, Procter and Gamble. These are the top holdings in the portfolio. The third one I'm highlighting is by Victory Shares, US large cap, high dividend volatility weighted ETF because symbol is CDL. It also holds dividend pairs which are weighted by inverse volatility. So lower volatility dividend pairs get higher exposure in the portfolio has a little over 300 million in assets and 35 basis points expense ratio has a yield of 2.7 percent currently uh, again you can use the link on the code page to go to victory shares web page for this CTF and see what it holds so uh, if you look at the portfolio so this is what it does uh, volatility weighting in an effort to outperform traditional cap weighting indexing strategies uh, pepsico southern company johnson and johnson these are the top holdings in the etf you can also look at the fact sheet to you know learn more about what it intends to do so it looks for uh, screens for profitability the companies the holdings must have net earnings across the last 12 months and uh, then it also looks for low volatility and uh, communication services consumer discretionary consumer staples energy financials these are the top holdings in the ETF uh, and we saw the top holdings, PepsiCo, Johnson & Johnson, Southern Company, etc. On this slide, I have the year-to-date comparative performance versus the S&P 500 index. And as I mentioned earlier, all these have outperformed the broader indexes. So you will see that uh, the Invesco product is up about 7% this year. The other two are up uh, between 1% uh, and 4%, whereas the S&P 500 index is down almost 11% year to date. On this slide, I have the past one year performance versus the S&P 500. And you will see the three ETFs are up about, uh, you know, between 13 and 16% over the past year. Whereas the S&P 500, which the, with the recent losses, is now just up, up just about 3% over the past year. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out sax.com slash promo for an interesting offer. Make sure to subscribe to our videos so that you do not miss anything. And I will see you next week.